In this video, we're looking at the definition of a prism and we'll also see some examples and non-examples of prisms. So what is a prism? Well, it must have a face that we'll call the base and the base must be a polygon. That's a straight sided shape. And then it must have a second base that is identical to the first. So the same polygon. It's a translation of the first base in 3D space, so it can't be rotated at all. The two bases must be connected by faces all the way around like this. And at GCSE, these will always be rectangular faces. You might, however, like to know that technically those faces don't have to be rectangles. They could be any type of parallelogram. One more point to note. We say that a prism has a constant cross section. If you slice a prism parallel to its bases, you will expose a cut face that is identical to its bases, as this animation shows. Just to finish off, here are some examples of prisms and things that are not prisms. Here we have a triangular prism. You can see that we have a triangular cross section. Next, we have a heptagonal prism. The cross section here is a heptagon. We have another triangular prism here. The cross section is a triangle. Here we have a pentagonal prism. There's the cross section. Here we have a hexagonal prism. The cross section there is a hexagon, unsurprisingly enough. Now, this one is interesting. It is a cuboid, but all cuboids are technically prisms. You can think of them as rectangular prisms. For example, we could consider this the base. And if you make a slice parallel to that base, you will expose an identical rectangle to that one. The interesting thing about prisms, however, is that you could use a different pair of faces as the bases. For example, I could start off with this side as the base and you can see if you make a slice parallel to this one you will get a rectangular face identical to this one instead. The point is cuboids are prisms just like all these other shapes. Let's have a look at these non-examples. Now whichever face you want to pick as your base when you start slicing parallel to that you won't always get the same cross-sectional area. So that's why these three are not prisms. However, you might be thinking, wait a minute, this should be a prism, shouldn't it? This cylinder here, because we could use the circle as the base and wherever you slice the cylinder, as long as it's parallel to the base, you will get an identical circle with the same cross-sectional area. So it is fair to say a cylinder has one of the most important properties of a prism, but the definition of a prism is that the base must be a polygon, a straight sided shape. And because a circle is not a straight sided shape, a cylinder is not a prism. But it is a lot like a prism.